Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another great episode of Bahrain Now, your source of local initiatives, happenings, talents, and trends. I'm your host, Bara Abdullah, here to walk you through our exciting lineup of segments and personalities from around Bahrain. So don't go away, we'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, to a healthy talk as we have Leticia, who is a plant-based recipe creator. Behind that name, there is a beautiful, exciting story. So more about Leticia's journey here and now. Well, good evening. How are you? Good evening. Thank you. I'm very fine. Amazing. Amazing. You know, we saw your Instagram account. I'm like, we have to have a talk with her. Oh, thank Definitely. you. Definitely. It all was going on with a plant-based diet and, you know, a lifestyle, all that kind of stuff. So tell us more about yourself first. Okay, about myself, I, um, I went to law school first. I was a lawyer and then I moved to wow. Bahrain. I had two kids and okay. I was really exhausted with my uh, two pregnancies and everything. Mm. So I had back issues as well. So okay. I was advised to uh, exercise on a regular basis. And by doing that, I shifted actually my uh, approach to uh, food. Mm. And I did some research. I, um, I took an interest uh, in studies about uh, a healthy lifestyle, okay. veganism, yeah. and plant-based power. And then, yeah, I became vegetarian first. And because I was so powerful, I felt like everything was good. I decided to go uh, vegan the healthy way and plant-based oriented. Wow, how long have you been vegan for right now? 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, exactly 10 wow. years. Wow, yeah. so that said, I don't think you're ever gonna go back <laughs> to <laughs> no. non-vegan life at this no, point. No, because it's some, something that I enjoy very much. And um, you know, at the time it was very difficult, so I decided to create my blog and to gather uh, all my recipes online. Right. Like that first for my own, uh, my own uh, ex I mean, I wanted to uh, reach my recipes on right. a day-to-day -day basis, right? And to share it as well with uh, all the people around me and to spread the word about uh, the fact that amazing. eating healthy is actually amazing. Amazing, I mean, what a story. What a story. It's a journey, yes. So you've been in Bahrain for how long so far? So uh, 12 years in Bahrain, 10 years vegan, yeah. Wow, so what brought you here? I mean, pretty much like, just like, you know, we're gonna go f to Bahrain for a visit and now you're uh, stuck. We were <laughs> supposed actually uh, to come to Bahrain for two years uh, okay. with my husband uh, for work um, uh, mainly. And Bahrain is such a nice place and we enjoy Bahrain very much and especially me because on a healthy basis, you have everything. It's very accessible and it's doable to be uh, plant-based in Bahrain. You see, we don't hear this every day. It's like I it's know, but easier, it's easy to be vegan in Bahrain. This is so interesting to hear. But it's mainly because when you go to a restaurant in Europe, for example, you, uh, they have a menu, right? Yeah. And if you ask something out of the menu or they don't have a vegan option, they're not happy. In Bahrain, they're always happy to please you. So they will wow. always help you to find a way, you know, to give you a plant-based meal. Or when you go to the supermarket, you have huge, huge section yeah. of uh, healthy and organic uh, food and ingredients. So, no, I'm very happy in Bahrain and all my recipes, I do them with ingredients yeah. from Bahrain that I buy uh, here. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow. It seems that there is a growing interest in plant-based diets and yes. the vegan lifestyle in Bahrain. As you can see, there are more chefs right now trying to pursue that line. Exactly. There are right now, we have plant cafes yes. and restaurants who will just serve plant and vegan um, recipes and dishes. And I'm like, really? You go there, it's all vegan. And people are like very casual. It's like, yeah, no big deal. We're just having a falafel sandwich. It's all good. We don't mind doing that. In a very posh area. And I was like, wow, this is something else. We never thought this was gonna happen. Yeah. And it seems that people seem healthier, happier. So how did it change your life being a vegan? So by being vegan, actually, I, um, I really saw a difference on my immune system, my skin and my energy levels. I would say that that's the main thing. And it's my whole metabolism was better, actually. And wow. I'm, it's wonderful, actually, to see uh, how plant-based is growing up in popularity. And I think the main reason is because of 
the health benefits that you get from this type of diet. Right, right. Now, people like still, I think some of them still confused, especially the, you know, the non-vegans, I would yeah, say. Yes. It's that, so there's a difference between being a vegetarian, being a vegan, and then you have plant-based diet. Yes. So what's the difference between all so of that? So actually, um, when you are vegan, the healthy way, you are basically plant-based. Plant-based is when you eat whole plant food. Okay. It's about plants and it's interesting because plants is not only fruits or vegetables. It's whole grain like buckwheat growth or oat. It's as well pulses like all the lentils, the beans, the chickpeas. Right. Uh, it's the nuts, it's the seeds like pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds. It's the mushrooms and you have the spices and the herbs. So it's huge actually. Wow. A plant-based diet, it's full of uh, diversity. So it's, uh, and why whole? Because this is as well an important part because you want, when you eat plant-based, you want to eat the um, food that is not processed right. or not refined. Right. So no more white sugar, no more white rice, for example. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because, you know, as some of our friends, I think they got it wrong. So it's like, oh, I'm going to go vegan. Great. So he goes and he eats white bread with tahina and deep fried falafel. Ah. And I'm like, okay, maybe that <laughs> is vegan, but not necessarily exactly. healthy because that thing has been deep fried so down in that prior. I, I don't think you really pretty much got the healthy out of it at this yeah, point. Yeah, you got the point because <laughs> you can be vegan and eat uh, Oreo for breakfast, but it's not healthy. That's oh, the wow. thing, right? So <laughs> this is amazing. This is crazy. So now as you've been doing this for like 10 years yeah. and you tried it for yourself and all of a sudden you saw the benefits in your life and you know, the skin, the way you feel, you're you don't get sick as usual. No. Y your mood changed, right? Never, actually. I y never get sick anymore. Even your memory, the, your yes. cognitive functionality is all different than now? Yeah. Wow. So it's, uh, the benefits are huge, actually. And uh, when you do a little bit of research and you Google it, you see that it can help you when you have a, a weight problem or when you want to reverse or to prevent some disease. And I think in Bahrain, uh, you have a lot of people with a different type of disease and I think a plant-based diet might be very, very helpful actually. Mm -hmm. And I want to add as well that within weeks and months, if you change a little bit your diet, if you stop the dairy, if you start with a green smoothie in the morning, for okay. example, very simple step, very small one, you will see the difference very quickly. So it's something I try to encourage people through my website and my Instagram to try, you know, to give them the go continue right. go right. explore be wild do more new things and there is always a new ingredients or um, something new that you can uh, you can find in a plant-based diet tiger mm. nut coral lentil coral lentil sorry that you will uh, uh, for the moment i'm working on uh, uh, using them as flour so wow. i uh, blend them as a flour as flour right. and i use them for cookies for example and <laughs> yeah wow. i mean it's it just that it's a whole new world full of flavors and you can do a lot of things. You know, I know the first point that comes in as an argument mm -hmm. when it comes to going vegan, it's like, okay, what about your protein? Exactly. What about your protein, your B12? Yeah. What about all of that? How can you do that? You, always can get, you can only get it out of meat and fish. What about the omegas, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, they eat plants. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they get it from, right? Yeah, no, but, you're right. Well, what do you think? Yeah, it's exactly. Uh, it's always the first question that is raised is about the protein, right? But if you have a big variety of food and of plant food, you have no problem. You will meet all the requirements. I mean, I'm not a doctor or nutritionist, but I can say from my own experience, I have no problem at all. I'm not missing anything. Mm. And you can go to your doctor. You can get t tested, for example, right? And check if you are on the right way. But uh, if you have like, well, I like to use the example as a Buddha bowl. I don't know if you've heard about that. Please tell me about it. So Buddha bowl, it will be a mix of, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, plant, uh, plant food. Actually, okay. you, you will have like brown rice, but you will have like a different type of beans. You, you will have the, the red beans, the black beans. Right. You will have your greens. Uh, you will have some uh, seeds mm. because you need the uh, roasted uh, sunflower seeds, for example. Why? And you will add some sauce made out of nuts. And with that, you're sure and hopefully that you will meet everything and all the protein you need. So it's something that you need. It's vari variety. It's diversity. You need to have a diet made out of 
a lot of things. It's not by, um, you know, you, you don't need to focus on one thing. Mm. You really, really need to be open to try a different type of uh, food, healthy food. That Buddha ball sounded wholesome. Ah, it's amazing, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> the sound of it, I'm like, okay, now I'm ready to order me one of those, <laughs> definitely. It's, it's just like, it reached to a point right now where I know a few examples, a friend of mine, been uh, going vegan for three years. Mm -hmm. He looks younger. Oh, yeah. We're both reaching 40s. He looks younger than me. Oh, wow. Less gray hair, that's for sure. <laughs> his skin is tighter. Yeah. Lighter. Um, his body's all lean. And I'm like, what is going on? I mean, what did you do? It's no, like, it's what, what, what kind of workout do you do? It's like, I don't work out. I just walk. I mm -hmm. a brisk walk. But I'm vegan. And I'm like, really? And he had some complications, you know, medical conditions. Yeah. It's all gone. I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, you don't understand. The things we've been eating and shoving in our bodies for the last gazillion years, you yeah. know, since we were born with the formulas and all of that. You have to drink milk, you know, if you want to get calcium. You have to eat meat if you want to get your protein. You have to eat carbs and, you know, the pyramid. You I have know. to have the balanced diet. He said, not all of it really worked well for me. Yeah. So when he went plant-based, it changed his life. And three years later, he's a complete different you person. You can see the difference. Yeah, no, you're right. And the thing is that I think education is key. So we um, we need actually to uh, to reach a lot of uh, young uh, people as well in Bahrain and all over the world to try to uh, to send the message that eating more plants will benefit your body because okay. there is as well a lot of nutrients into plants right. that you don't find in any other type of food. So you you need to go there. You Imagine need to that. eat them. So it's uh, it's very important. Wow! Wow! We can talk about this forever, to be honest, yeah. it's so exciting. And, and I, I have something to, uh, to show you as well. well not only, <laughs> believe me, everybody in the studio was telling <laughs> us, like, do that. not eat this alone. Don't touch. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, like, and uh, there are a few cubes, <laughs> they already have names on it. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know. They it's for fighting. Mahmoud, this, was, this is for <laughs> Fatma, this is for Ali, and like, I can see it right now. Yeah. So, so, but you've been doing your own recipes? I've been doing my own recipes. I create them. Actually, I started as well with my old recipes. I swapped some ingredients to right. make them healthy. And then slowly, slowly, you know, you, you try to uh, something new, new ingredients. And then, and I enjoy it actually. For me, it's a kind of meditation, being in my kitchen, okay. trying some stuff. The kids, they, they're always happy to, uh, to try <laughs> them out, but they, they don't want to know what's inside. Yeah. At the very beginning, no, 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 no. <laughs> so it's, uh, but like this, I just wanted to show you that it's a brownie. I mean, okay. we all love brownie, right? Yes, we do. And it's not because you're going on a plant-based diet or you try to switch slowly to a plant-based diet that you're going to miss the brownies. That, that's something I want to, uh, to em emphasize. This is made out of pumpkins, Pumpkin. rice flour. Okay. Uh, you, I use uh, peanut butter in this one, but you can use any type of uh, butter, not wow. butter actually. And there is no dairy, no eggs, uh, no refined, no sugar. I had a bit of maple syrup and that's it. Can I try? So it? yeah, go can ahead, can try. try. Yeah, definitely. Because it looks so, so good. So I'm curious to see, yeah. It looks so good. Yeah, I, so I hope, does. I hope you like it. Okay, oh, it, okay. I try to make it uh, moist and gooey. Wow. So it's supposed to, to reach a very nice texture. I, I mean, my kids love it. I do that for birthday party and everybody loves it. It's so a brownie. It's a brownie, that's the thing. It's a brownie. And it's lighter than the normal brownie. I don't feel like, oh my God, after this, I have to drink something with it. It's, yeah, it's, it's so good. Thank you. I really appreciate <laughs> that. Wow. Thank you. Need to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really pleased to hear that. Mm. It's, um, wow. And actually, you know, it's, um, I'm doing cooking demo. Okay. And I, d I was part as well of a campaign um, organized by ICC in Bahrain in uh, 2020. It was about uh, obesity. Okay. It was very nice. And, um, I was really, really pleased to see how people react because when you do a cooking demo, you show them how to do, you show the ingredients and afterwards they can try and taste. Right. And people are so pleased and so, I mean, as well, very excited to know that you can make something out of plants and something tasty. So it's totally, uh, totally. It's wonderful. I mean, besides being a recipe creator, mm -hmm. have you ever thought of doing like a service? Uh, it's something I'm not sure. I'm not sure I have the time right now because right. having having a right. website and a blog it takes a lot of right. time. But I might think of the idea. But okay. uh, 
Not yet, not yet ready for that. Because what's happening right now, you know, with Bahrain right now, they a lot of people, it seems like the new generation all want to be yes. healthier, yeah. better. They want to live longer. You know, the word longevity, sustainability, it's a big thing right now in Bahrain yeah. with the SDGs and all that's going on. So the under, now people do understand that it's not about just the mental or whatever you feed your brain with thoughts. No, it's just that we need to make sure that that brain's in the right body, that we can sustain it for years and years through the right kind of workout and the right kind of food. Food, yeah. And veganism has become like a big thing in Bahrain. Like, you know, people will go for it. They say, yes, yeah, go. Yeah. Let's, let's make it happen. So it seems like, you know, a lot of restaurants, they do the meal preps. Do you think maybe that's something you will consider maybe in the future? Because I'll, I'll sign up, I'll sign up. Uh, maybe, maybe it's something I can, uh, I, I don't know, but I'm very okay. happy with my uh, recipes actually and I'm very happy because I feel I'm on a mission, you know, I need to, uh, to spread the word and uh, I need to do that through my website or my cooking demo. Uh, maybe, I, I, I don't know, but uh, for sure Bahrain is changing, I mean in 10 years. I've seen a huge, huge right. difference. You have a lot of entrepreneurs, new startup with right. healthy food. Right. So it's, uh, I think this is, uh, people understand that it's very good, good for them, so. It is a transition and we're yes. going to even a more radical one. Yeah. And knowing that you're part of this journey makes us feel better to be honest. Uh, you know, we have you. recipes here. We got Leticia <laughs> doing her thing and all of that. I mean, we would love to see more of this. Any future plans? Maybe we can know about. We're gonna keep it a secret for now. Uh, maybe a book. Uh, that, a uh, book. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, yes. writing a book, a cooking book. You know, so All right. it's, uh, we'll see. Okay. It's, uh, okay, definitely. Once the book is out, we're gonna have another interview. Okay, perfect. Right Thank you. Let's make that happen. You know, <laughs> right here on TV. Let's make it happen. Definitely. So, uh, this has been a great talk. To be honest, very inspirational. It's so good that. We know people like you are right here in Bahrain and thank you so much for taking that journey, you know, okay, for making you. your life feel better, for making yourself a, in a better place. And now you get to talk to us about it right here on TV. We really appreciate you for that. I mean, I'm very you know, pleased to be here, really. Really humble, definitely. Any oh, last words you. to us and the viewers? Sorry? Any last words to us uh, and yes, the viewers? Yes, something I would wish actually it's that uh, maybe one day my recipes will become part of your lifestyle. I think this is my wish. With that brownie, so you got yeah. me. <laughs> That's for sure. Perfect, thank That's you. That's for sure. I'm well, very happy. Leticia, thank you so much for being with us right here on Bahrain now. And we can wait to see you again, you know, with more brownies. Oh, perfect. Thank <laughs> you. Definitely. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you, Barra. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, plant-based diet recipes, the best right here with Leticia. Do check out her Instagram account. They got a lot of things going on over there. All that took place right here on Bahrain Now. On Sunday, the 22nd of May, the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority of Bahrain TRA, invited guests to its headquarters in Sif district for an open forum. The event provided stakeholders with a platform to share their thoughts on the TRA's 2022-2023 draft work plan. Today, we've opened our doors to all of our stakeholders and consumers as we've tried to outline what we're trying to do in our work plan. The work plan will set the work we're going to do over the next 18 months or so. It enables us to talk to industry, to talk to our stakeholders, to talk to consumers, to get their views on what we're trying to do in our work. In our work today, what we're trying to focus on is how we make Bahrain the best place to do the internet, how people can access the internet, whether they're actually at home or whether they're on the move. And we've all discovered over the pandemic how important it is to have good internet access. So our aim is really, we're trying to get government policy to make Bahrain the best place in the world, or best connected, one of the best connected places there is. For consumers, we're trying to make sure our organisation is very consumer focused. We think of consumers, we try and understand what they need, what they're doing to keep them safe online.
We also want to make sure our networks are safe and secure so that actually things don't fall over. So when you use it, actually it works well. We're trying to make broadband actually really, really good. You get what you want, you get the service, you're able to access, you're able to do what you need to do. Whether it's watching television over your broadband line, whether it's playing games, whether it's doing your schoolwork at home, or actually working. What we want to do is make sure that it's all available for you. So today we're trying to engage with everyone, take them with their comments and views, and we'll issue our final work plan probably towards the end of June, beginning of July. Actually, one of the things we really want to do is if you have any comments on what we're trying to do, or you have any comments on your broadband services, please just let us know, because if you tell us what the problems are, we can help fix them. One of the things we're always trying to do for people at the moment is actually people want to buy a new broadband packages for themselves. We're going to do a tool online that helps you compare them and make sure that you can get the best deal that's good for you and it works well. We've made it to the finish line, ladies and gentlemen. A huge thank you to all of our guests for joining us tonight. And another huge thank you to all of you watching us at home. As always, be sure to reach out to us on our social media accounts shown below. We love hearing from you. Well, this is the end of our episode. Till next time, Bahrain, goodbye and God bless. <laughs>